Hello everyone, how good of you to join, take a cup of coffee, sit back, relax and enjoy and we're 1800 as we're looking at our beautiful Crown Falls. Well, beautiful it is, but also very unfinished. First of all, what we can do now is finally upgrading a few more houses. We can also build the members club that I was placing in the last episode. So let's go ahead and do this one. It's just fitting in nicely, isn't it, right? We don't even need a park or something like that. We can have a wall of buildings in the back of it it's just looking really good overall i think in this nice corner there with the theater and then also our member club over there where there's already lots of people that well i don't know debate discuss and smoke some pipes because that's probably the only thing you can do in there and let's just check it this should once again raise the happiness to new heights of my investors and hopefully nothing bad comes out of that also by the way i can see here that we do like some ornaments. Let's add some of these beautiful jerry trees. The white ones are actually fitting in just nicely. Well, we might go for the pink ones then as well. Once I've unlocked them, because I haven't unlocked them yet. We do need the tourist mooring. There's still so many things that we need to unlock. Well, also what we can do is, or what I would like to do is, I would like to upgrade a few more houses along the way. And what I can also see is down here, we still have the marketplace and the pop that I would like to get rid of. And we can do this by upgrading the remaining workers that we have in this area. And those guys here as well. This one is in a very precarious situation right there. And I think for this one alone, we will need to wait there. Yes. For this single worker building, unfortunately, I need to wait. And then I can get rid of the pop, the marketplace. And once we unlock these two artisans, the school can be gone as well. Now up here, I haven't really touched this area for quite some time and we should be doing that at some point now. We still have our brick factories here, not looking particularly nice. I would probably like to move them away a bit from this area. Right up here, we have another mountainous region where I can have some more buildings, right? So a bit further away from everything, there is this smaller plateau. Not that high pollution buildings I would like to add here, but rather, yeah, well, something like the brick factories that we can have in this area. Let's just finish this one off with another um, warehouse that we can have in this area. And yes, I think it was around, how many do we actually have? six of them we have so it was eight actually let's get rid of all of them here by the way those eight be gone and let's just have them up here instead so i do have those six and now we got eight once again working here and of course this poor small host definitely should be upgraded let's just upgrade it by two steps because why not now with the space that is available now, we can finally continue a bit with our city expansion. I haven't fully decided that what I would like to have up here then, right? So once we get rid of the work clothes, but what we can have down here definitely will be just normal people there overall. We have the marketplace down here. I will still have another one then for this whole area there, right? Because otherwise they will not have the full fulfillment. And yeah, this is still a main road after all. So we should still have some proper looking houses then here situated like well artisans and stuff like that and of course very close to the mountain they're showing that every single bit of crown falls is utilized and that's basically the whole idea let's just place them here um this one we can definitely move a bit over there we will prolong the iron mine delivery time but that should still be fine totally fine really and we can actually squeeze in some two there oh and we also got some ruins that I will quickly need to repair because workforce is of the essence as we can see farmers and workers are really low there overall. This is fine and then we can have some more here or actually here we can have a pop or something like that. What those people want. That is the mountain pop a bit further up here. And then I probably can squeeze in some two more houses there. Perfect. No parks in this area yet. What we might add here then later. Who knows about that really. There we have more houses that I can then just add like that. They have a beautiful view by the way over the city itself. With all their bigger monuments already that we have. This is just fantastic really. That bank over there. I love that. And you might be in for some surprises yet if you think the bank is the only new building that I have to offer. Let's continue with some more houses here. This one can be a single road. Oh, actually, wait a second here. We don't need these roads anymore. Absolutely not. It's connected, really. So this one is all just building space. Real estate property, as it's called. Very expensive. 
very expensive indeed. Here, there is a tricky question now how we want to proceed with the rail tracks that we have in this area. So I can continue, of course, like that. We probably will end this whole train track then somewhere here with a power station, right? So this is probably the end of it. And then I will have a power station for this whole district here. Now, of course, something else up here that I just noticed is it's looking a bit barren, right? Basically, almost no trees and stuff like that. We do have a lot of options for some forest densities that we can add that look rather natural. So I would like to add a couple of them here now. There you go. Then we have something up here, right, where there's just some trees that are separating now the mine here from my other buildings. Yeah, we still have some more smaller grounds here so just that we uh, plaster a bit of trees there overall here in the mountain area that it looks a bit better there overall this is the lowest density that we have by the way i would wish that it could be a bit lower density still but it's still fine overall and it's separating us nicely then from the the rest of it um from my production buildings basically that we definitely don't want to be so visible overall right we could add these tree mods of course to some other places in the city and that is just some nitty picky there that we will need to do at some point eventually also we can upgrade more engineers um, i would like to go ahead and do this right now here in the center so those blocks here oh why do you want oh they lack electricity right since the last one is here but that is not so far away yet it's not working i can't really optimize anything else there so I will just have to wait until I can have a power station down here. That is not something I can do right now because I think our power oil consumption is already pretty strained. So I'm not, I'm not doing that any further. We don't have that much reinforced concrete. Unfortunately, I did get a bit of influence out of it. That is all I can do for now here. Now, actually, let's go back to the Arctic that I've completely neglecting. Actually, it's very important that we continue here. Now, in the Arctic, we do have our chili explorers. The pemmican food, as I can see, is a bit it's down. Arctic. This one is missing its heating, as we can see. So that is a bit of a, an oversight on my part here. So it's not fully working. What let's move said? this one over there. And now it has the heating for the food that order for the whale oil that we get out of that. And we do have our kitchen up here somewhere there's the oil lamp factory there's the pemmican cookhouse this is actually working though i will need to build the second hunting cabin that we've already placed in this area to get the fish in right we do have another pemmican cookhouse here as well that i can build so let's go ahead have this one um for the oil i think we do have enough oil though at least we have a surplus of it and we are producing two per minute on surplus perfect so there's a bit more meat coming in for those people here so that we can upgrade more we are only having those few chili technicians there at the moment they want the parka and the coffee then as well for their heat levels and for their normal needs, they want the post office, the canned food, and the husky sleds. At least the canned food is actually something we can get them over there rather soon. Now, we actually need to continue here with the quest before I can do anything with the airship hangar. We need to progress through the story of, um, of the Arctic, basically, if we want to continue there. So, let's just have a look. Um, we do have, you may have survived the journey to the Arctic and found Sir John's old camp, but the search for his lost expedition has only just begun. And there are some remainings here somewhere. There it is. That we can pick up. John's log. Open it. He knew. And we found the log of him where he basically just tells us his the way through the Arctic and what he finds. And he way. found the Inuits Why there as well as one of the um, powers, they more or less. And we now need to find them, find the Inuit. And I do remember them being up here somewhere far in the north and my franklin royal galleon can do that oh wait a second actually we got a, another ship closer this one the huge collier that is faster overall and better suited for travel traveling in the arctic let's just have this one here and that uh, we found them finally so i fear that would you would come i will show you where those men went and we now need to follow this storyline here sail to the starting point so he shows us where the other guy john faithful went and of course we want to begin this one actually now that i think about it getting such a big ship up here is probably not the best idea by the way of course there are some very interesting items here from the inuits that we will have to check out as well for the museum for example so we could have our own arctic um sector in the inuit uh, in the in the museum area then or a, well, actually an Arctic Museum. Let's make it like that, I think. That's better specializing those museums then. 
All right, so I just need to really follow this ship now. Hopefully we can manage. No idea if, if, if it's not, not getting a bit too narrow there in some places. Now let's get back to Cape Storm. I just never get sick of this name. And yep, let's actually go ahead and build this, upgrade us a few more people to technicians. We're going to need a lot of technicians for the airship hangar then. And this whole row here we can also upgrade. Perfect. Giving us some 360 technicians for now. And this should also unlock us a few more buildings now on the way. Because they have of course more demand. So the canned food is coming in the post office. Let's actually get us cracking on the post office right away. As we can see the range is quite nice. So in that case we don't need to destroy too much of it. And I think the building itself is also... Yeah, it's We can actually hopefully manage to pull it in somewhere here. This should be fine, right? So I only really need to move this poor technician um, down up there. There's still some heating left over and we can get rid of this road there. That should be fine. And then we have the post office just here in the center. Also getting its heat. And people can finally send letters back to, well, South America as it seems. So the New World and of course to Crown Falls where most of their relatives will hopefully be living and not at Bentis Island or something like that. Post office, that makes them a bit happier there overall. Very nice. Um, for the new building though, to electricity here with the gas stand that we might have, but the airship hangar, that's still a bit further away. And I think that's looking good for now. We have fur abundance here, so we could get another place of fur, but I think we're getting the fur then from the Docklands as well. And the deep mine here, oh, we still need more than twice as many technicians to unlock the deep gold mine that we can then finally use for all of that. We're still following. We still, we are still not stuck out here. <laughs> now while we follow, let's actually get back to Crown Falls to Cape Filoni because I finally want to start with my champagne production. And yes, we are going to use tractors this time. Oh, I heard your cries. I heard your cries. Here's in the comment sections that I haven't used tractors yet. We still basically have the very first quest here, the tractor test. Um, available as well right so that's something we need to be careful of there we have our oil harbor that we will need to upgrade there as well because we are basically capped on oil as far as i can see and yep we do hopefully have the means to transport the electricity or the oil now over there from the oil harbor and we're going to use this route here actually let's put it a bit further up there because i need that harbor area for something else then and let's get this one all the way up now into this area why basically for our fuel production right so this is something that we need to consider as well so that we have the fuel now and the fuel is well delivering fuel to all the tractors in the vicinity and it has a pretty huge range that is good right so we can really use the whole area here if i place it in this area and of course we could always move it then again later but as we can see this whole area is used uh, this whole area is used as well so that's where i would like to go the other side is not being used the problem though is that with the tractors the size or the amount of fields is significantly increased so those farms will just take more space overall let's add this one to the train network to the oil harbor and let's just see oh we do need some timber we are out of timber while we wait for the building materials actually we are pretty down on the worker workforce and we're going to need more of them so let's just upgrade us a few more so these guys here now that we've just added right so this new district there we can really add a whole bunch of new workers this whole district here we can upgrade perfect and those guys here most likely let's keep a few farmers further outside then as well and these people here perhaps as well so that's a thousand workers it's actually more than that because of course they still need to move in um and in that case that is going to help us out a bit we still have farmers up there in this district that i could upgrade as well so let's go ahead and do this we still need some farmers for the champagnes of course for the vineyards now finally Look with everything in we can now build us the track system all the way up to the fuel station so this we one has it now it does require oil it does not require a lot of oil luckily right to produce the fuel Just that we're going to attack. need from this one and now we can finally build us the vineyards that we're going to need and we're going to need quite a lot of them oh god what is going on Bente, you are so annoying it's just because of that message that i cannot turn off um, but of course our revenge is coming ever closer we have all the shares now in mossy toft Oh god, we need to change this name. 
And we can take over this island here, this massively overpowered island, right? I mean, who builds that many cannons in there? She's begging for share takeover because this is not takeable with any ships, even though these ships look nice. But that is the tube worm from, well, Jean La Fortune. Now the train is whacking back and forth and we have a bit of space now. I, I really, I can't seem to take a bit of time to build my stuff, right? Because we're getting the ruin messages again all the time and the attack messages. Um, we really need to focus on a bit of building now because that's really what I need. My investors are begging me to get them some champagne. Now we have the vineyard as the first one, as we can see. The vineyard, let's build it. Actually, it takes 128 fields. Hello, airship there. 128 fields. If I build the tractor barn now on top of it, that we built here by the way the tractor barn does require 10 steam motors so it's really really expensive gotta say that we can have it here it needs to have a road connection so the fuel as we can see is now being transported on this little fuel tanker this brings me back to transport fever where we had these transportation lines available right for fuel and with that we have now 192 fields that we need to place here so let's go ahead and do this one all the way up here there we have them. Lots of fields where the tractors will now well, travel on. And this will significantly boost the productivity by 200% for this single vineyard. Right? So we do save a lot of it. And a little bit later, as we can see in all this glory, there is the tractor now mowing through my grape fields. I don't know if we really need a tractor for that. He seems way too oversized. And I guess he's making the, the wine right as he goes. Now, before, we only produced one grape, one ton of grape every two minutes. So 0 0.5 per minute. That is not a lot, right? Oh, she's fascinated by attractors. Do you want to go? Do you actually want to go now with... Do you really... No, she doesn't. She doesn't want to go. None of them wants to go to peace with me. It is... I mean, I do like the military mod in a lot of cases, but diplomacy-wise, it's just it's just uninteresting because they really they're just flat out going to war with you forever, and there's no changing that anymore. Um, well, I was back here with the vineyard, so we would be producing 0.5 per minute. If I have it boosted now, we are actually two per minute. That is a massive increase, really, in what we need, um, and also in what we don't need anymore. That is so many fields. Now, currently, we do need 8 champagne per minute. Um, as a potential, I would write to go for 16 per minute, um, long-term-wise. So, in that case here, champagne is what we have. We do need 8 minimum of these sellers, right? And they produce Ship 1 per attack. minute. 2 per minute. Which also means they're pretty, uh, well, they're consuming one field is now responsible for one champagne seller, as it was vice versa, four of them for one champagne seller, right? And now it's one to one. This is a massive increase in productivity there overall, and it's just beautiful because it also makes it easier for us now to calculate. Now, the champagne sellers, let's also let them boost it. We have the power plant here as well, doubling its production, basically from two to four per minute that we can then have out of this one here. And this reduces the amount of champagne sellers that we need to only four in order to already um, use the whole of crown folds that we can use with that. That's a lot of math, and I'm pretty sure somewhere I miscalculated once again. But I guess we can still make this one work. I will need to upgrade this warehouse there. We don't have any lumberjack huts here, so we can actually go cracking right away. Let's go ahead with... How many should we really build now? I mean, they're boosted after all. I can still go ahead, of course, with quite a lot of them. We do need a warehouse then here in this region for those guys and they will get their electricity. Let's go ahead and continue with our farms. We do now need only four of them for now to satisfy already what we have, right? So those are working then. Let's actually build them right away so they can start their working. Ooh, lots of steam motors. This one costs me. There they go, perfect. And what we still need though for the champagne is glass. And this is where this beach area comes into play once more that I have left open for now. We can squeeze in some um, warehouses here so i would like to have a warehouse here most likely for the glass that we still need right so the glass was previously with the champagne seller um that it is 
one-to-one -one really, right? And since we want to have the glass speakers in the electricity area as well, it stays one-to-one. -one. And I will need four of them. So four glass makers, and that leads to eight sand mines because they're not boosted by electricity. Let's go ahead and have us these sand mines. Boy, I hope that I can really make this one work accordingly. Unfortunately, it's a very, very tiny um, harbor area that we have there. I can still kind of like make it work like that, but I think they will not have their reach now. Oh, they have. Very nice. So we can actually make it like that. I, however, will definitely work with paved roads along the way so that we can really make the best of it. Another warehouse up here for this whole area and also for the connection with the... Ah, this is not working. Are you kidding me? Now it's working. All right. Unfortunately, here this... Ah! This is what is working now too for the remaining sand mines. Let's go ahead, build us the warehouses. And we're going ahead and we're building... Actually, let's build just four of them for now. Because I think... What we still need is uh, we need the glass makers. Let's make sure that they're also getting boosted. So over here we have enough. We still have some space for some champagne sellers. And then we have the glass makers. Now for the glass makers, we should of course have them as close as possible to the champagne sellers. So they also deliver the glasses over right away or they just get it to the, the marketplace then whatever. So four of them we have. Let's make a fifth and a sixth one as well in this area. And that we can then have up there. And I will definitely, definitely need to upgrade my warehouses as well in the process. This one here. Because they are going to need it then for the sand. And while we babble along with the champagne sellers, another very important thing is we can now take over Mossy Toft. Um, in that case, once again, I would like to check Bente. She's still climbing in the military score once more. No idea how that is even possible. 862. Let's take over this island here. 1.4 million. It's really peanuts. Gone it is, Raito. And where does she drop now to 800? She's still way too high to ever go to peace with us. Perhaps there's some interesting items here for the botanical garden. And there is something lurking around very nice but of course we will need to protect this island here now too she's already going away i don't think that she's really going to attack i don't think she actually has any more islands in the new world there are still some unhidden or some hidden islands over there that we might have a look at this island is going to be very useful for the cocoa fertility we can make our chocolate production up Ship here that attack. i'm looking forward to already chocolate is always such a nice product to create and for that, I will definitely also need more timber. And do we still have some weapons? Yes, we have some lots of weapons, really. That means that I will be able to get my defense up here in Mossy Top right away. This one's fine. This one's fine. There's some more shippies over there. Do we have any more cargo ships out here? We don't. I need more cargo ships in the new world. And I think we have... Free us a few more, so the Conqueror. Let's just take a few more resources. The Walrus can actually do that. Some steel beams there, that's always usually very important. And let's get all of this over there to the new world as well. To fortify this one further. And yeah, let's also go ahead and end this episode with how we started. And that is upgrading. We have more engineers here in the city center that I would like to upgrade as long as I still have some reinforced concrete. And here as well. How very nice. And with that, my influence is growing. My investors are growing. And yeah, we're coming closer to our ever-growing goal, having skyscrapers. Stay tuned.